Can you believe it's been over six months since an episode was published in Confidence Storytelling Podcast? Well, now we are back and in this episode, I am going to share what was happening in the background, what incredible changes, what was I going through and why it took me so much time to come back. And also the good news, now we are going to have a new episode every single week. So stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome to Confident Storytelling Podcast, the podcast where stories shape leaders, ignite change and connect us all. I am your host, Harito Srivastava, a storytelling and public speaking coach. Whether you are a professional, an entrepreneur or a coach, this is your space to discover how to craft and deliver stories that inspire, build trust and influence those around you. Here, we'll dive deep into techniques, real-life examples, and personal experiences that will elevate your storytelling skills and boost your confidence. Let's transform the way you communicate, one story at a time. Hi everyone, I hope you are doing great. Uh, Today is 2nd of September and it is night 11 p.m. Indian Standard Time when I am recording this episode and hopefully it should be coming out in next couple of days. And when I am here in my this new place, this new mini office, I am having lot of nostalgic feeling, lot of reflections and I think this is the perfect time for me to record this episode. So this episode is going to be a straight from the heart episode. So I'm going to keep it audio because I want it to be a free flowing episode without having too much worry about how do I look on camera and etc etc. I have just my laptop open with few notes for me to cover. and. In this episode, uh, what I want to cover is a little bit about this podcast. If you are new, I hope you will find this interesting and how it has evolved over the years. Why there was such a long break. So if you notice, the last episode was published somewhere around February of 2024. And there has not been any new episode posted for last six months or so. So why there was such a long break, what were my reasons behind that and why I'm restarting now and what are things are there in the store for now. So let me first start out with the history of this podcast. This podcast started initially in 2021. In fact, the first episode, if you look back, you'll find the first episode was recorded on 1st of January 2021. At that time, it was called as Small Town Bigger Dreams Podcast. I was in the process of uh, writing and editing my first book, which is again called Small Town Bigger Dreams. And my purpose was to use this podcast to generate some curiosity to get people to listen about that that's why if you look at the initial episode it was all the more about the book and the lessons but over the last three plus years that we had been doing this podcast as i have evolved this podcast has also evolved over the years i started with this the book then eventually it went towards the public speaking and then as I figured out that even in public speaking I want to niche down I want to really get deeper into the aspect of storytelling this podcast also eventually became confident storytelling podcast we have oh probably four seasons I still contemplate at times whether I should have said that a season or not uh, nevertheless we have had about four seasons already and what's most important is that we have over 75 episodes i think this is going to be the 76th episode so i can very proudly say that 
we are among the top word person po- podcast statistically because most of the podcast uh, don't even go beyond a few or 10 or 20 episodes so we have reached a big milestone and i plan to continue that so that's a little bit of about history of this podcast now i want to talk about something which is very very important why there was such a long break of about six months or half a year oh my god how do i start and um, then we'll talk about why now so why there was such a long break now i want to be very candid and honest over this because i love my podcast audience and i want to be very open and i think i have talked about that in last towards the last episode that i was recording that i was going through a phase where i was setting a few wrong expectation by myself uh, also because of the vendor that i had and other things but i had put some unrealistic expectation from me and that uh, was taking a toll on me so to t- to be honest uh, i had put a target of having two episodes per week which turned out to be a nightmare for me so so while i was very comfortable before put publishing one episode per fortnight and then one episode per week putting it making it two episode per week became a huge challenge which was taking a lot of toll on uh, on my health on my balance and at the same time i was working and i was involved into so many other things i couldn't find the time and as they say once you miss one episode or one of the episode then the series continued and you feel like okay i need to catch up or should i restart or should i take a pause and in that lumb- uh, jumbo bumbo i could never catch it up so that is why there was some wrong expectation on my end which resulted into no action is taken for last 6 months and i think i'm i'm perfectly fine with it uh, initially i was very disturbed with it that i had made a promise uh, but i couldn't do uh, interestingly i also made few more promises to my audience which i couldn't fulfill and i felt really really bad but you know as things go on you learn from your experiences you become more realistic and practical and then you grow from there so that is what i'm taking away with it the second reason why i was on such a break was there was a lot i mean literally a lot going on on the personal level so those of you who do not know me personally uh, i was working in an it company as an it project manager while doing doing all of this as a side hustle and at that time i was in the uk and uh, towards the end of the last year i had already decided that uh, i will be relocating back to india i will be switching from an it job and a part time storytelling coach to becoming a full time storytelling coach uh, so for those things to materialize i had to stop a number of things and podcast was one of those things because from april till i would say at least july and or start of april uh, august i was into where i was you no know, i had put my resignation i was doing my non establishment and i i was packing my bags uh, doing stuff in the uk and then switching back coming back to india and uh, doing set uh, setup in terms of business streamlining so i'm very glad to share that uh, i think almost all of it has been done and one more realization that has happened that in business you never arrive you are always work in progress i'm getting used to it and i'm learning the tips and tricks of living an entrepreneur life uh, but i can safely say that i am at a spot that where i feel that this is the right for time for me to come out of that break and uh, the third reason why i was on a break was it was always a temporary pause i never intended to 
to get away with this podcast or just stop right away it was always in back of my mind that yeah i may not be coming here as often as i want to but i am going to come back or even if i am on a break i'm going to come back and resume from here so that those were some of my reasons why i was on a break on this podcast now let's talk about why now Wh- what is it that i want to do with this podcast and what's the, my vision for this podcast so first of all as i said earlier we are reaching a milestone and uh, we have already completed 75 episodes so very soon we'll be completing 76th uh, episode with this episode and i want to complete uh, 100th episode as on without any break so my plan is to have from now on one episode per week so that i am continuously providing a lot of value consistent content to my audience uh, you being my audience it's been an honor and privilege honestly so i'm going to put one episode per week and i'm also going to put a combination of types of episode so you would have seen that initially when i started it used to be a lot of solo episodes and it used to be a lot of interview episode i've done a lot of interviews in the past and i want to bring those because uh for my own selfish reason when i get to interview some amazing world leaders champions i get to learn a lot and i think uh, if i interview them and put it over here i'm assuming you also learn a lot so that's the value that i want to bring so i want to keep some episode as solo episode just like what we are having now uh where i want to talk straight from the heart sometime i want to become more tactical sometime uh, sharing some personal insight and also on other times i want to bring some guest speakers some guest interviews i want to do in as a matter of fact i already have record i had recorded couple of episode before i came from uk and you're going to hear about that in the coming weeks uh, so i'm very excited for that so that's the new updates that i have in terms of what's going to happen and uh, i'm also going to research and do more to engage the audience so if you have any suggestions for me to improve feel free to send me a dm on instagram at coach harito shivasto that is c o a c h h a r i t o c t o s h s r i v a s t a v so coach harito shivasto is my instagram handle you can follow if you want to and send me any ideas or suggestion that you have that can help me update or bring you top notch podcast episodes okay now let's talk about uh, what are some of my learnings through this exercise through this through this reflection through this journey of uh, you know changing the job taking a really really bold decision uh, which i am human i also get few times a doubt self doubt creeps in uh, but i am trying to stay afloat i am trying to get some right uh, accountability partner right mentor right guidance on that to not get that uh, overtake my mind so what are my top three lessons number 1 is that you always have a choice a lot of us uh, live in the mindset that we don't have a choice this is what we have to do if you need to hear it from me let me tell you that you always have a choice you can always restart your journey you can always take a pause there there is there is no judgment and you shouldn't worry about any judgment so you always have a choice you can always stop you can always restart or resume and you can choose which battle you want to fight and this i can say from my own personal experience the lesson number 2 that i have for you is 
there are lot of stories we tell the one story that we tell is to the others the second story we tell uh, we listen is that others tell to us that is the we listen to the story but third and the most powerful story is what stories we tell to ourselves for the exact same situation exact same circumstances one person may be telling a really bad story to himself or herself while the other person may be telling a really a better story a great story so you are the story creator of your own life you are the creator of your own life story so make sure you are telling yourself better stories it comes goes back to the concept of how being in growth mindset affects your life uh, but i really want to pass on this second lesson to you is you can always tell a better story to yourself and number 3 the third lesson which uh, i learned from ankur variku and i was uh, listening to one of his episode or maybe i was reading one of his newsletter he said that uh, it's the last man standing who wins which means that consistency always pays off it no matter how talented or non talented you are if you are consistent to make an effort there is a good probability that you might succeed provided you are doing your work diligently consistently and honestly so those were my th- top 3 lessons you always have a choice you tell better story to yourself and it's about the last man standing so that's my inaugural episode of uh, i don't know new season should i call or number 76 of confident storytelling podcast by the way if you are a working professional an entrepreneur or a coach who wants to elevate your storytelling skills who wants to see how storytelling affects directly and indirectly your sales your influence your impact then i would like you to in, like to invite you to my next secrets of storytelling masterclass i'm going to put the link in the description so you can directly register from there and also if you have not yet subscribed to the podcast i hope you found some value so please do subscribe trust me it really helps and if you if you really found this useful if you really had some bulb on or aha moment i want you to leave a five star review on apple or spotify podcast and send me a screenshot on instagram and i will be sharing a free course about how you can build your confidence so take care friend i'll see you next week which is going to be one of the most profound episode i ever recorded because i had a chance to interview one of my mentors one of my coaching ideals so you'll hear about it in the coming week but until then as i say every time until next time keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone take care stay safe and stay blessed